everybody, this is Mugcat here. Today we'll be fishing for the mighty Wells Catfish. Uh, recently added into Dovetail Games Fishing, which is now Dovetail Games Euro Fishing. Uh, we'll talk about that a little bit later, but uh, so far I haven't had much success catching any of them. So um, I'm out here, I'm going to be stalking. I'm going to go for this little uh, river here, or uh, branch of the lake that kind of sections off. And try and get it out there in the middle. See anything coming in and out of there should see our bait. Um, I'm using an IQ rig with a 18mm uh, dumbbell. Basically that's all I have here at the moment. Uh, I haven't had any success with the Active 8 previously, so we're going to try this out. Uh, we're also doing the stalking. It seems like this would be a better spot to catch them. Plus I haven't had much luck. Um, fishing from one of the pegs. Uh, hopefully we get some luck here today. I know it's been a while. Um, people are starting to catch them more now, but uh, I really wanted to get one and I had a hard time and uh, hopefully we can get them today. You know, get the ball rolling here. But yeah, I, like I said, I chose to do the stalking just because I can get in a little better position for where I wanted to fish. I couldn't quite get here from a peg. Um, plus, a lot of times with when you set those rods down, I seem to get an awful lot of bites. And even if I instantly go to pick it up, uh, the fish is off already. So, you know, this gives us a little more control. Once it actually takes, we can, we can just go ahead and reel it in. Um, like I said, hopefully this is a good spot here. It seems like it would be a good choice place you find some catfish back in there. You know, hopefully we'll get them coming on out. Yeah, we'll just reel on in here. Okay, that was the activate. Now we're switching here to the dumbbell. Oh, sorry about that. I had a little more here. We had to cut out, shorten things up a bit. Um, we are fishing at night. Uh, again, another thing. I don't know if time really plays a factor into it yet. At some point it should. So since I wasn't able to catch any at the daytime, let's go to the nighttime. That seems like a natural time to catch them. And like I said, we got right here in the middle of this channel. Hopefully this is a good spot. You know, the only problem with the stocking and stuff like this, it really is a waiting game. <laughs> you know, the same with before, but now you only have one rod instead of three. Uh, like I said, unfortunately, it's real hard to get back in there from the two pegs. And even if you can get back in there, when you go to pick it up, it leads to some really odd angles trying to reel everything in. But I know we got fish jumping all around here. Hopefully they decide that they like our bait. And we'll find out what catching one of these catfish is all about here. And another good thing that they added these catfish in uh, previously in beta build 2 is you know it gives you a little little something different besides just carp to try and catch i mean they have brim and tench and roach and they're all very nice but you know, they're also smaller fish uh, these are some real monsters here and the top dog here in this lake we're at uh presa del monte bravo if i remembered the name correctly uh is one called cheetah and it's a hundred pounder, so uh, we will be woefully underprepared if that decides to take our bait here today. But you know, we'll see what we get. I, you know, I still haven't caught one at all to this point. Well, just kind of let the clouds go and see what's going on here. All right, and if I didn't mention it before, uh, they did just release Beta Build 3 today. 
or actually yesterday. Uh, yesterday also happened to be Star Wars Battlefront, and I'm not gonna lie, I I couldn't resist Star Wars. I had to go and try that out. Uh, so I waited till to till the day to do it. Um, but they also changed the name. It's no longer just uh, DTG Fishing or Dovetail Games Fishing. It's Dovetail Games Euro Fishing. I uh, believe it's just to really change the distinction there and let you know that you're you're not going to be fishing for bass and trout and other things. Uh, it's very much, you know, wells catfish, the carp, that kind of thing that are, you know, distinctly European, as they said. So, you know, that's, I don't know how I feel about that. Um, they did say that they're going to add more later in different places around the world. Um, <clears throat> You know, so to me, I would have left it the same, especially if you're going to add them in later, uh, having the American branch or even African or Asian uh, locations and then still calling it Euro fishing. Man, that seems a little odd to me, but oh, we got a bite. I better shut up. <laughs> and oh, he's taking it and then around the bend back over there. And let's see here, we can get him out and around. All right, well, back under there, that little marker out there, it's really hard to tell exactly where these things are. And, uh, it's a new UI, UI that they have added in uh, with Beta Build 2. Uh, now we got her out around the front here, which is good. Really putting up a good fight here. Make sure we keep tension on her and try and get it all set up perfectly here for for netting. And that's the thing, they work on the netting with every build as well. Uh, it gets better. It's really, you know, you just have to learn how to use what they're doing. I I don't really know what to say about it. It it's tough. <laughs> it's tough to get used to, but you know you can make it work for you if you get it down. I like to try and get them into one certain position. You know, every time try and get them there. And oh, there we go. We can see her. Wow. It's definitely harder to reel in here. And of course, I have you know beginner reel and rod. I never upgraded those things yet. Uh, so that's gonna make this extra fun here let's try and get them in i just i really don't want to screw up the netting part of it and that can be <laughs> that can be a challenge um let's go here come on buddy boy reeling 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 it doesn't seem like we're getting anywhere with it Getting them close enough yet? Um, just a little further now. There you go, back in. Come on. Try and pull him up off the bottom. I should be able to net him here. Let's see. Up, oh, up. Oh. Yes. All right. And there we go. That is our first Wells catfish. Look at that thing. Oh, that's a beauty. That's a nice. Nice gray color to it. And that's just a regular old catfish. That's not one of them boss ones. Um, hopefully we get to see one of them later today, but I'm not gonna push my luck. That's the first one I caught here. So let's uh, let's see if we can catch, catch some more here while we're at it. All right, now that we got that first out of the way, let's see what more we can get here. Hopefully this is a good spot and uh, kind of jumped ahead. I apologize, I had to edit this down a good bit. Otherwise, we would be watching two hours worth of video and nobody wants to do that. <laughs> Let's go. It seems like a great spot, so, you know, a lot of waiting. Uh, not as much nice stuff to look at because it is nighttime. We got some fish jumping around. 
Now, I still haven't shown that transition. I actually started, when I started fishing, I started at that um, 7 o'clock start time, you know, that magic hour of twilight right before it gets dark. Now, I didn't have any luck with that, but I like to get the, the bait in the water before it starts getting dark. That way the fish come in and out. You know, that way the bait's already there waiting and we don't scare anything away. At least on that initial one, you know, I know it's probably not that complex yet, but I would like to still try and fish it that way, you know, the way I really would in, in real life. Um, hopefully we get something here to grab a hold real soon. Now we got, uh, let's see, um, we'll talk about beta build 3, uh, it did come out, I'm not going to do a video on that one, uh, my plan had been to do one on every build that came out, however I've run into a problem, uh, I keep getting fatal errors every time I play, <laughs> and then game crashes, so I can't really uh, get too much video on it, and besides that, there's not a whole lot new to it uh, they added single player tournaments more full more function to them um, although I did cover that with that first video I showed a bit so I didn't really want to do the same exact thing over again now we got some fish jumping around here my fishermen must be getting really tired of just standing there but get a little itchy over there he's he's shaking back and forth when he, when he's shaky better not better not move my line <laughs> the well placed spot there but yes beta build 3 I you know there are multiplayer fixes and I will get into multiplayer uh, soon uh, haven't really tried it out at all that's one you know when I fish in real life I'm not going to go fishing where I see a bunch of other people around. <laughs> um, I usually try and stay by myself, so sort of the idea of, you know, the multiplayer fishing to me seems weird because, you know, I'm out fishing on the bank and somebody pops up on the other side or, you know, 20 feet away from me. I'm not going to be too thrilled about it. You know, I'll probably grumble on and, and move down the other side of the lake, but, you know, it's it little different with the lakes here I know some of them like st. John's I guess that's you know private or you pay for pay to fish on top so you expect other people to be there uh, we will I will do it I will cover it so if anybody out there is watching is interested uh, they want to be a part of my multiplayer review uh, or video just let me know in the comments so uh, I'll be happy to get in touch with you and we can try and work out a match here with everybody. Um, what else did they add with Beta 3 while we're waiting? Uh, there's also live tournaments as well. And oh, there we go, we got a bite here. Let's get that tension up fast. Uh, that's something I, I also wish, uh, hopefully they work on as well here is switching up the tension on the reel. Uh, I use an Xbox controller with this and uh, it's tough. I actually wind up having to use my mouse wheel and my controller because it's a lot faster just to flick that mouse wheel up. Uh, using a controller it'll go up two degrees at a time and we got another catfish here. Alright, we got him closer. Let's, whoop, that was a quick net. All right, there we go. That's uh, Wells Catfish number two. Another beauty. Man, those things are big. All right. Well, two down. Looks like we got the spot here and the bait and the right hook combination, at least for tonight. I guess that's an IQ rig, size six and a 18 uh, millimeter dumbbell the regular kind not the pop-up uh, let's get her back in that spot again no nope, yeah and we throw up right 
on the bank. It's seems really hard to drop her in there. Alright, let's pull this thing into position. Okay, back in here. Apologize if uh, you get any disjointed sounding comments here. I have to keep an eye on everybody here. Um, it's hard to get time to do these videos some, some weeks, so I try and fit them in where I can. We got bait here where we want to be. Um, good spot. We got two two cats in the bag already here. And like I said, uh, we're talking about the multiplayer. Um, you know, I will try it out. It's interesting. Um, just uh, we're gonna wait for it to be finished. I know that's one of the things that seems to have the most most issues you know or least complete of all the game modes at the moment so we're gonna wait for that to to improve a bit um, most games I'm, I'm big into multiplayer but you know like I said with fishing I it doesn't really mean much to me uh, I like to go and be by myself when I fish um, you know, it's not something where, you know, I feel the need to compete compete against the guy that's right next to me. Uh, you know, they have a leaderboard here, and that works for me. Uh, try and get up there. It's the same thing. But, you know, it's a little fun. I understand, you know, a lot of people like it, and that's pretty cool. Like I said, I love multiplayer and lots of other games. So, you know, we'll try it out. And, oh, we got a bite. We got a, yep, yep, there we go. Oh, he's taking around the corner. Oh, uh, this is not good. Oh, let's see if we can get him around. Let's try and raise it up over. Go around, go around. Oh, sir, you want to come around? Whew. All right. We got him around the corner. Oh, he's running. Eat. Boop, boop. I have no idea what's there, but it looks bumpy. Uh, maybe it's a log. Are there any logs here? Uh, uh, we wouldn't know. Alright, let's get them in. Let's not lose them here at the shore. Let's try and get them up off the ground so we can see here. What, what are we looking at here? Now let's, uh, let's get this puppy up. Let's take a look. I see a tail. A little bit of tail here. Oh, there we go. Ooh, this one looks bigger. Is it though? It's hard to tell. Well, they fight like hell. I'll give them that. It seems like if you want to go out there, the best idea is really uh, get that tackle box filled up here. And oh, we got another one. This one looks. Looks a lot darker. That is a nice looking fish. Uh, just a regular old catfish. Uh, like I said, I'm worried to see what some of these bosses look like. Uh, let's uh, I'm back in here again. Let's set it out back there. And try a bit of a different spot I don't think that's gonna go too well here so uh, let's uh, go ahead and move it on forward all right I cut away here I moved that bait on forward here um, I don't want to bore you guys to death with just sitting here watching videos you do enough of that when you're fishing I want to try and get everything in here so you can see, get a little more action, uh, a little more interesting show here. Uh, next one up, I believe, try and do a boss a boss fishing episode. Uh, we got another bite here. And uh, I'm really trying to keep that thing from going around them corners. Oh, see that, that, see that marker is deceptive. I, th I thought we were out around the corner there. And, uh, we're not here. Oh, we got him. We can get him around. All right. Uh, let's 
let's try and get him in here as fast as possible and not screw around. Alright. And man, these things put up a real good fight. You know, even they're just regular ones here and uh you know, more fight than a lot of the the regular large carp that I've noticed. Uh, let's see if I can. There we go. All right, we got another one. It might even be the same one we caught last time. Uh, what a nice color to it. Oh, just regular old catfish again. All right, now you see, I uh, take a little screenshot there. Uh, that one looks nice. Uh, make sure I post them up there. I know everybody likes to do their their best catches and. I like to try to contribute to that. Um, let's see here. We got a hot spot, so let's let's keep it going. Let's see if we get any action here soon. Now before I, well, it's actually talking. There's also some live tournaments, and like I haven't been able to check them out. Seems like I think it's most weight or most number of fish. Uh, details are a little iffy on them. At a certain amount of time you have and a number of tries, which is which is nice. Um, you know, I'll have to I'll have to take a look at it. Um, for those of you that might be new, you know, I, you may know that I participated in the first tournament that they did, which you know obviously wasn't implemented into the game it was done on the side their uh, early access freedom fishing <laughs> tournament or whatever they called it it, it had a long complicated name um, luckily yours truly here came out on top hooray uh, so you know I'm looking forward to the tournaments but having done that you know it's can take a lot of commitment. Uh, these seem like they're going to be a lot better, a lot faster. Uh, our first tournament lasted for six weeks. And it was a long time, uh, a lot of hours and of fishing in. Uh, not nearly as much as some other folks, but you know, plenty nonetheless. And we got a bite. Oh, he's taking that out. Oh, oh, I do not think I'm going to get him around the corner. Uh, stay off the bank. Let's go, go, go. And, oh, got it. Uh, uh, oh, no. <laughs> We're going to pull him up right up over the bank. Now, see, this would be nice. Uh, nice spot right here. Where you hook that fish, it'd be nice if you can move your feet. Uh, you know, I can just walk on over there. Heck, you know, I got him on shore. I just walk on over and pick him up, but you know, even it would be nice if you can move once you catch him. You get a fish like that that runs down, run down to that channel. You know, you can you can move down further. You can get closer uh, instead of trying to reel them all the way around and out around that corner. But uh, you know, that's something maybe we'll see. Uh, I hope so. I hope you'll be able to to do that and not have your feet planted firmly in the ground, but. If that's the case, that, that's fine. Uh, can handle that, you know. You learn to make do with what you got, I guess. I, I still have fun playing the game. Uh, it doesn't really kill it for me. Um, I got another wells here. Let's let's go, buddy. Whoa, he won't take a piece of me. I'll get my net, protect myself. Up, oh, up. Oh. Hey, uh, all right. All right, now let's see this. The they, looks like they keep getting bigger. Yeah, buddy. All right. Yeah, same size. Uh, see the weight and stuff. Uh, was one of the bugs going on there with the weight. Can't see it, but you can tell from from the points that you know pretty big size. Uh, try and get this bait back back into position here. Tension down. Now I had been setting it down before. You know we had to have it down real low, keep the rods from moving on the rod holders. 
Um, right now it's a little low. Right, what do I got? 38. Um, <clears throat> something like that's good actually. Nowadays I, I like to try and get it even more. Um, it seems like they just take it out and take it out until at least 40 something. Uh, and you can wind up losing fish right away because it takes you too long to get that tension up to where it needs to be. So I like to start a little higher, even more high on, you know, what I'm stock at here. Um, still playing around with it. Like I said, a lot of the stuff has changed uh, over the course of time. So, you know, you just got to kind of adapt. And, you know, it's not like before where, you know, when I first started playing, you can just swing swing your bait around the water and the fish will come up out of the water at you and take your bait. Uh, we got some flying fish again. I don't know if you've seen them. There might be some that are prowling the side of the bank up and down. Uh, you know, those kind of things happen, uh, especially, you know, they're just trying to get out, get out more of the features, uh, the less, less polished mode. Um, which is good, you know, get things done, get things out faster. Uh, it's bad at the same time in that, you know, not everybody who has it is as patient as I am. Um, Lord understands that, especially if you didn't have the game for a long time. Uh, you know, you might not really see what's going on. If you catch it as a first impression, uh, it's rough. Um, but one of the good things, I, I guess, to combat that, it probably explains why when they went into this closed beta that they decided not to sell the game on the, in the Steam store. Uh, probably a wise move, I would believe. Um, you know, that way, if they know it's going to be a little bit rough for a while, you know, wait until it's actually out to sell it here. Well, we got another one. Now, shut up. And it looks like this one's going straight for the bank. I uh, got no choice. Uh, yep, we're up on the bank. <laughs> oh my goodness. It is tough to pull over and through. Uh, my, you know, I'm going to release this fish, but he's going to be beat up after this. Well, let's try and get him. Oh, we got tail, we got close, what we got here? Whoa, whoa, hey, hey buddy, get out of the bank. Oh, right, come on. Come, wait, it, no, no, you want to come this way. I said, we got, you know, some things being worked on. This is one of the new lakes, so there's probably even more being worked on with it. Let's try and reel them out. Let them get out to where we can net them. Is he out yet? No. Come on. I think he's just trying to take a bite out of my shoe. But, 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 but kill my. he does not want to leave. Oh, there he goes. There he goes. What we got? What we got? Oh, that's a nice looking carp. Now, I have seen that one before. <laughs> Oh, we got a level. All right. Yeah, we got a cart mixed in here. Well, let's take this back out. I'll catch us some more mud cats. Oh, that's right. Well, after my fishing trip was over, I came back out another day and threw in, and I had butt of a lifetime, and it just it took off. <laughs> And you see it pulled itself way down the channel, and there's nothing I've been able to do about it. I'm finally getting it under control a little bit here. Uh, this was... It caught me by surprise. I was done and, and ready. And I'm not doing anything to this fish here. Reeling and reeling, and it just... It's ignoring the line. This is doing whatever it wants. This better be a big one. Let's see here. Oh. 
Try and keep him up off the bank, because that's a long way to go. Uh, yeah, no. He doesn't want to move. Yeah, I was surprised when I when I hooked this one, it just took off down the back canal, and you know I was planning on just doing some regular regular fishing to get some more uh, equipment here. Uh, this one here, used on a uh, KD rig, and I believe the same 18 millimeter dumbbell. Catch him, but. Uh, See here, well, he's starting to move a little bit. He's starting to move. He's starting to move. Uh, uh, okay, nope. Still pulling hair. Not gonna go quietly, I guess. Looks like he stopped pulling back, but I'm not really doing much to him. Let's see, is he gonna move forward here? No, no, going back out. Oh God, don't let me try and pull him through that sign. Now, eventually these things should tire out. Um, he seems to be showing no signs whatsoever of slowing down here. Oh, oh, he's back on the bottom. Let's see if I can get him up, up off of the... Oh, oh no, he's... <laughs> oh, we got this behemoth on land, and over by the sign no less. Oh, this is going to be a while. Yeah, I wonder wonder which one we got here, but this definitely has to be a boss. Um, I had not caught any bosses up to this point. Uh, even with uh, Phase 2, uh, I can get a lot of the different, different lures. Uh, catch them. I'm going to skip over the land here. We're, we're bringing them back over the land. Trust me, I drug them all the way, and it was a long time. But I, I wasn't about to let this one go here. So now we got him. We got him in the water. Oh, look. He is tuckered out. Boy. Oh, God. Don't lose him. Do not lose this thing right here. I'll put that down. Let's try and get him back out in a good position here. No. It's, why are you moving the net like that? All right. Yes. Woohoo. Ah, look at that puppy. What we got here. All right, Mogali. Wow, look at that monster. All right, excellent little bonus, little snapshot there. But uh, thanks to you all for watching here today. Um, and if you could, you want to subscribe. I moved it. Uh, I moved to a new channel here for dovetail fishing, um, the virtual outdoorsman. So if you subscribe to my other channel, thank you. But to stay updated. Please subscribe to the new one. Uh, thumbs up, some likes all around, and have a good day, everyone.